Morning everybody, I'm Dr. Kluska and I'm coming to you this month again with Aesthetic Authority. This month I have my uh, partner, Dr. Deal, and we're going to do a, a very quick compare and contrast Renuvion from Apex Medical and Body Tights in Mode. Both of these devices across the board are already 9s out of 10s. We just found in certain scenarios where one's the peak and the 10 and one's a 9. In this category, this one's a 10 and this one's a 9. They're very genuine and from the heart. I know you know, from academic research, you can get caught up all into one device or to one company. Uh, you know, and the truth be told here, if someone's going to come and they want the best body sculpting business they can, we recommend both. What we found is the following. Number one, um, both of these products work great for skin tightening. And they, these are the only two that are really in the market right now that, that give you results that you're looking for. Number two, we found that at least in my practice, in what I use the products for, that Renuvion from Apex Medical works best in my hands and what i'm saying is this i do a lot of head and neck in our practice and i thin flaps out and when flaps are thinner and the connective tissue has been disrupted i have found this product to work much better for me that being said in places that i can't use this product i use body tight all the time dr deal on the other hand is a big body person and he focuses on more body, larger flaps, and he's gonna give you his take on yeah. in mode. And, you know, this is one of these things you gotta understand, you know, it's all about, we can all take the fat off, right? We have, we have decades and decades of learning better, better techniques about doing it safely, doing it better, and some of us take it to a very extreme level, right? You know, we're getting really high depth results on those sorts of things. We've tried so many different forms of energy, many, many different layers of wavelengths, and quite frankly, we've both been, as many as you have been, very underwhelmed with almost every form of skin tightening, period. You know, up until these two came out, there was never a time where we felt confident. Look at the patient and go, I'm going to give you a result. We do oh, tens of thousands of lipo cases between us, and now we've actually done more of these uh, cases in the last, I think it's been two and a half years than any other practice in North America. We trained a lot of doctors right. too. Having had extraordinary experience with both, we basically feel this. When you have a thick flap of tissue, okay, left, to be able to really get deep into that tissue, like a thick steak, Think of more of a RF, or think of a microwave, something that's really gonna be able to shrink it down. But when you're left with a lot of skin and there's a little sep of connective tissue and there's not much flap there left, like a high depth laser case, or maybe a neck that you're gonna really thin out, right. you wanna still shrink it, you get in here, it's gonna be a little too thin for this, we can shrink it with this very, very safely. There's many other bodies where they seem equivocal when you're kind of medium depth flap that is, maybe a medium, uh, medial thigh or maybe an arm. But other areas where you're just shrinking a flap of skin and you can't put gas in it, okay, like maybe certain areas of the face or maybe a big thick slab of tissue on a breast, you're not going to lipo, maybe a thigh. You don't want to really lipo most of the thigh except for the medial and lateral. How are you going to tighten it up? This is where you can use your internal RF. So it makes it a great device all over the face and body. And there's particular areas where you're going to have thin skin, putting the gas in is going to be fantastic. And then some other areas, we already got one of these devices open, you can use either one interchangeably back and forth for any medium thickness. And, and keep in mind too that we, we have three of each of these uh, platforms in our practice. That's how much we use it. We don't favor one more than the other. Uh, at, at the end of the day, it's just what works best in each of our hands. And really the way I like to put it is this. I know we get into where it's a competitive marketplace and from the standpoint of us doing academic research, we just want the best thing for what's for our patients, okay? And we're trying to be as honest as we can with other physicians out there. The best way to describe these devices is a fork and a spoon. You're not gonna eat cereal with a fork and you're not gonna eat green beans with a spoon, okay? One's gonna be better in a certain scenario. And then there are times where you could use either or maybe a spork in a certain situation. That's what we're trying to get to. We finally have the technology that exists to tighten skin it's landmark, it's incredible. We still have flat-based surgeries for those people who've got a lot of skin, but for all those areas in between, this is the only way you're gonna be able to have a very profound, complete body sculpting business. So that's our take on comparing the two body tight tightening instruments uh, that are available today in the marketplace. This, this month's Aesthetic Authority, next month we're gonna be dealing with uh, Cytons um, Halo, and uh, I look forward to bringing you that information as well.